team meteorologist Alex Puckett. He's been live uh, for about the last 45 minutes uh, at the Hoover Met. You're moving around. I, I see you're you're in the stadium now, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we're just checking out the atmosphere here. I'll tell you what, if you know SEC baseball, it almost looks like Alex Box Stadium out here with all the purple and gold. LSU really showing out crowd wise for their game against Texas A&M. I don't know if you'd see that behind me. I mean, there is a lot of purple and gold here, not as much maroon. So I tend to think we'll see a lot more crimson later on in the day, though, when Alabama is taking on Vanderbilt. We're dry here in Hoover. Lots of sunshine, not much in the way of cloud cover. So that sunshine is uh, is really filling in here. It's warm, but not too uncomfortable out there on this afternoon. We're going to have more on uh, that temperature here. Uh, low 80s right now. Fairly warm, but not too uncomfortable because the humidity is pretty low. As we head into tonight, temperatures dropping down into the upper 50s. It'll be mainly in the 70s for that Alabama game, by the way. So as we head into the weekend, rounding out the SEC tournament, the weather looking good. There is a slim rain chance, but I, I really think the odds are in our favor to miss out on rain here in Hoover. Although, I mean, if history serves any guide, we, we do tend to see some here in Hoover for the SEC tournament. But I really do think the odds of that happening for Saturday or Sunday's games are low. And we'll show you why the future cast. There's just not a lot to see here. Not nothing. There are a few blips of green every now and again across the state of Alabama, but there's just not that much moisture for us to work with through Memorial Day. So there's rain chances slim to none through the holiday weekend. As we head into next week, though, we start to get that summertime mugginess tur uh, turning back up, and that's going to lead to more pop-up showers and storms. So those rain chances by the middle of next week bumping back up to a familiar 20%, and also the heat will be building. So enjoy the drier, more comfortable weather we've got over the holiday weekend. Note those morning lows, the upper 50s and low 60s. That's a good sign that the air is dry and pretty comfortable. We can cool off that much in late May. But on the flip side, look at those morning lows towards next week back into the upper 60s. Yeah, that's a good sign that it's going to be feeling sticky and very much feeling like June once we get into June. The high temperature starting to approach 90 by the end of next week. CBS 42, Alex Puckett, back to you in the studio.